So I've now put the positive stop into this right hand side cylinder um, and what I'm going to do is I'm now going to rotate the crankshaft back up towards top dead centre until I feel it bottom out against the piston bump up against that stop. You can hear the piston uh, raising and creating compression in the cylinder, you can hear the air escaping past the positive stop. Let's rotate that. That's it. I just felt it bump up against it there and I'm reading 18 degrees before top dead centre. So I'm now going to rotate it the other way. Try not to rip my little gauge there. You're compressing again. And there we go. And I've got 38 degrees after top dead centre. So that stop stopped the piston. The piston was coming up and it hit the stop and it went down again and came back up again and hit the stop. And so therefore top dead centre is exactly halfway between those two readings. So I had 18 degrees before, 38 degrees after. I add those together and that gives me 56 degrees. Stay with me now. I divide that by 2 which gives me 28. I take 28 off this number here which means that the way that I've lined this particular dial gauge up, top dead centre is in fact when this pointer points to 10 degrees. So I'll go through that again. It's 18 on the left hand side, 38 on the right hand side and halfway between those is 10 degrees. Because at 10 degrees I've got 28 degrees movement this way and I've got 28 degrees movement that way. And that is the most accurate way to find top dead centre. So when I set this crankshaft now, when that pointer points at 10 degrees, this right hand cylinder is top dead centre and absolutely perfect.